All right, let's go to work. That's enough about him. Amen. Let's get busy. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 11. Yes. And many false prophets. Uh-oh. Many. Man, not one, not two, not three. Many. Many. Many false prophets. False prophets. Shall rise. This is divine prophecy mm -hmm. by the Messiah himself. That's right. So that means that false prophets must come. Must come. That's right. Some of them may be your relative. Mm -hmm. Maybe your father. Maybe your husband. Yeah. Maybe your friend. That's right. Hmm. That's right. That's right. Jesus said. And many false prophets. Many false prophets. Shall rise. Shall rise. And shall deceive. And shall deceive. Many. This is why a program like this is needed. That's right. Religion, churches, even the mosque, mm -hmm. and even the synagogue. Mm -hmm. Everything has changed. Oh, yeah. The synagogue held strict rules mm -hmm. in compliance with Moses' law. That's right. But even the Lord saw the change, and from the book of Revelation, he calls the synagogue a synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. The mosque, mm -hmm. they held strict rules That's right. years ago. Now even the mosque is trying to imitate TV evangelists. That's right. Churches had strict rules years ago. Mm -hmm. But now the need for divine strictness has been watered down so much. That's right. Until God is no longer the important one in the church. That's right. The important thing in the church now, what is it? Money. Prosperity, uh, yeah. riches, mm -hmm. the size house, the size car, mm -hmm. the size bank account. That's right. All of this madness is in the world. That's right. Our young people dying, young people being kidnapped, young people yeah. raped, young people. Mm -hmm. Pregnant young people mm -hmm. strung out on drugs. That's right. And the only thing these men find time to preach about Money. is God got a miracle with your name on it. That's right. Here I'm in need of God, in need of salvation, on my way to hell. I need something to rescue me from me. That's right. Because I am my worst enemy and I need help. Yeah. Amen. A false prophet false. don't care no. about the souls of people. That's right. A false prophet pretends mm -hmm. like he cares mm -hmm. for the souls of people. That's right. He get close to you and even organize programs. That's right. Where he get a cut from. That's yeah. Right. Many false prophets, most false prophets always want to, or if they do set up something, the objective is, what's in it for me? What's in it? That's right. Uh, well, what, is, what's in it? what can I get out of this? That's right. How much can I make? Mm -hmm. What's my cut? Yeah. What's my percentage? Right. You'll be walking around, oh, he loved the people. Oh, his heart go out for the people. Mm -hmm. There's some a false prophet can buy. Mm -hmm. That's right. So he will deliberately loan you money. That's right. Now you feel obligated to him. That's right. oh, yeah. So when he do start a church, mm -hmm. he automatically got a friend that feels obligated now because the friend owe him. That's right. 
So he would keep that loan over your head. Yeah. Are you listening? That's right. He would keep that loan over your head. That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? Amen. Many false prophets. Jesus said many. Many false prophets shall rise. That don't only mean many as a large multitude, mm -hmm. but all kinds. All kinds. That's right. They're all different kinds and yet have different methods for one objective. Amen. Amen. They come with dramatic titles as if they are wrestlers or boxers. That's right. That's true. You know, boxers come with great titles. In this corner, weighing 187 pounds, the quick feet, sleep, the leak, the elite, this, that, right. all these titles. That's right. And from this corner, from Puerto Rico, he is the hands and the man with the master plan who don't bear all these titles. Right. What is the objective? Hype the people Hype up. The people up. So a false prophet will come in town. Mm -hmm. The great tornado from Texas. That's right. That's right. Flattering That's right. titles. Call him the healer. Right. The miracle worker. That's right. And you feel as though he is a man of God based upon how many books he wrote. Yeah. Because he's a renowned author. Mm -hmm. Writing books. That's right. Don't qualify you to represent God. No, no, no way. No. Your size crowd mm -hmm. don't represent you being called and sent by God. That's right. Listen. In Matthew 24, now at verse 4. What is it? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed. Pay attention. That no man deceive you. That no man duke you. For many, many shall come in shall my come name. Shall come in my name. Hold it. Amen. I don't want you to think because a man is a false prophet, he may make reference to the devil. That's right. Because he got the title false. That's true too. That's right. When someone forged money, they don't make reference to forgery. No, no, no. No. No, no. They make reference to what is legit to sell their product. That's right. The false prophet make reference to scripture. That's right. The false prophet make reference to the prophets. Mm -hmm. The false prophets make reference to Jesus. That's right. The false prophets make reference to the holy book. Amen. The false prophets make reference to the apostles. Everywhere. Listen. In the book of Philippians chapter 1 and verse 18. Listen at this. What then? What then? Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. Everywhere. Everywhere. Listen, Vera. Vera, mm -hmm. get this now. Every way you can think of. Every way. Every way. Whether in pretense. Whether in pretending. Whether faking. Whether hypocriting. Whether not for real. Or in truth. Or in truth. Christ. Jesus. Is preached. Is preached. That's right. Every way. Every way possible. That's right. You go on, hear Jesus preached. That's, right. That's true. He will be represented correctly, mm -hmm. and he will be represented incorrectly. Amen. Amen. It is necessary that a false prophet come. It's necessary. Preordained. That's right. Give me the book of Jude. Amen. Amen. The book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 4. Listen, I want to take my time in Sokia. For there are certain men. There are certain men. Crept in crept unaware. Crept in unaware. See, sometimes you're following a preacher that's a false prophet and you're unaware. Unaware. That's right. But if you give it time, the manifestation of its falseness will come to surface. That's right. Be aware for dramatic unscriptural callings. Amen. Amen. Very dramatic. That's right. He was hit by a car. 
And he told the Lord, oh, if you spare me, I'll go. 99.9 yeah. .9 of all these preachers always say they were Jonah. That's right. When they heard the voice of God, they ran. They ran. Everybody's Jonah. Jonah's Want to take Jonah's calling. Amen. No one visited a well or nothing. Not even an aquarium. That's right, <laughs> no fish. Only fish they dealt with was on their plate. That's right. Red lobster somewhere. That's right. That's right. Now everybody wanted to be Jonah. Everybody. <laughs> you listen to these dramatic men. Hospitalized. Arms broke. Mm -hmm. Brain tumor. <laughs> went blind. That's right. Spine got dislocated. God done all type of damage to them. That's right. Before they gave in to the will of the Most High. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was here, walking among the brethren, mm -hmm. he simply told the brothers, follow me. Follow me. That's it. They dropped their nets, follow him. That's it. Wasn't nothing dramatic. No. They just dropped their nets. Tony said, oh, they followed him because they understood. If they understood, it wouldn't be no reason to follow him. That's right. He had to open the understanding later. Later on. They followed him. Mm -hmm. So because God may call you and send you, I don't mean that you're going to run from it no. all the time. No. Jonah, there was only one Jonah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Everything wants to be Jonah. Listen at this good. For there are certain men crept in. Certain men crept in. Unaware. What? See, false prophets are creeping things. Creeping. Creeping things. If you notice about insects, <laughs> there's some insects do not come out in the daytime. That's right. They are night crawlers. Night, night crawlers. That's right. You know, like a roach. Amen. If a roach come out while the light is on, he's in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> he's quicker in the light than he is That's right. in the dark. That's right. For when you turn that light on, he's, he's, he, he, he's, he understands. Because right away, he runs. That's right. Why? He loves darkness because his deeds are evil. evil. Amen. The false prophet right. loved right. to work among a dark people. Their intelligence is dark with ignorance and they are dumb. That's right. To the will of God and to scriptural truth which give him an edge. That's right. In manipulating and successfully lying to the people. That's right. He got an edge on you. That's right. They grope in the dark. He knows scripturally you're dumb. Right. You are Bible carriers. That's right. And Bible readers. That's right. And Bible quoters. Mm -hmm. But lack the intelligence mm -hmm. of the content of the book. That's it. That's right. Why you think the prosperity message have overwhelmingly been accepted by the public. Amen. Because it satisfied the carnality of man. That's right. They will understand this. Mm -hmm. Read the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Every time God sent a messenger, right. it was to warn mm -hmm. that people That's right. about the evil ways. That's right. And it was to tell them to turn from your ways and turn to God. That's right. The message haven't changed. Amen. Amen. God never send men to promise you houses, no. cars, oh no. land. That's right. God send men to warn you. you about God's judgment. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's why God sent them. Give them warning from me. Look at the men on television. That's right. There's no, the only warning you get is when the station interrupts. Beep, beep, storm warning. That's right. 
a public service announcement. Amen. Now, if the station can think enough of you to give you an announcement to warn you so you can make the necessary preparations about the arrival of a star, how about the devil that you have in your pulpit? That's right. He has failed to warn you about the arrival of hell. That's right. That's right. But you love him. You love him. You love him. Amen. And you feel loyal because he's your daddy. That's right. He's your uncle. Amen. That's right. He's your husband. Yeah. He's your kindergarten friend. Go ahead. He's your second husband. That's right. Am I right? That's right. So you have a sense of hypocritical loyalty. Amen. Amen. You should be loyal to God above everybody. Amen. That's right. The ingredients of a false prophet. His introduction begins from predestination. That's right. His introduction begins from predestination. That's right. Listen. For there are certain men. Give chapter and verse again. Still in Jude chapter 1 and verse 4. Certain men crept in. Unawares. Unawares. Who were before of who old. Who were before of old. Ordained. Ordained. To this condemnation. There was ordained to be condemned. My Lord. Amen. There was ordained. That's right. To be condemned. That's right. Ordained. There was ordained to have an unrighteous role That's right. in the lives of humanity. My Lord. Ordained Indeed. to be liars. That's right. Ordained to be deceivers. That's right. That's right. Before of old ordained to this condemnation. What kind of men? Ungodly men. Ungodly. Amen. Ungodly. What kind? Ungodly men. Mm. When it come down to false prophets, ungodly men. Ungodly men. Then there are scriptural indictments. That's right. Scriptural charges. That's right. Upon the false prophets. That's right. God charged them for the ungodliness. That's right. mm -hmm. Hands down an indictment. That's right. And send men. As a divine lawyer, that's right. Mm. That God case concerning them might be known. That's right. That's right. God send the men and lay the case out to the public. That's true. The difference is the public not allowed to be the jury. No. The prophets mm -hmm. and the apostles mm -hmm. are the jury. That's right. And God is the judge. He's the judge. That's right. Are you listening? Ungodly men. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our God. Turning the grace of our God. Into lasciviousness. Unto extreme lust. Extreme. Hold on. That's right. Go ahead, brother. They bring the grace of God, the mercy of God, the will of God. They convert it. That's right. Into lasciviousness. And they turn it into lasciviousness. They make it into something to their best interest. That's right. That's right. What do you mean? They will use scriptural quotations mm -hmm. to justify hypocritical sermons. That's right. And you think the sermons are scriptural. That's right. But the sermons are designed to work in his favor, right. to build up his income That's so right. he can live better, get a bigger house, get a fleet of cars, get a larger yacht, Go get ahead. his private jet, and he come Go and ahead. do all that right. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That's true. That's true. That's right. I charge the false prophet. That's right. That's right. With lying to the people. Amen. Amen. I charge the false prophet with being a deceiver. Right. That's right. That's right. He's working for a God. A God. That's right. 
Listen at this. He is ordained to exist mm -hmm. to this condemnation. Being created by the God of heaven. Mm -hmm. But he's hired after he arrived by Lucifer. That's right. That's right. He's created by the creator. That's right. But he's hired by Satan. That's right. And no marvel. Amen. Listen at this. Now in 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 12 and at, rather chapter 11 and at verse 14. Come on, son. And no marvel. You better read up above that. At verse 13. Listen. For there, for such are false apostles. Such are false ambassadors. Deceitful. Such are false messengers. That's right. What are they? Deceitful workers. Deceitful workers. You know, they put their hand on your head, slap you down. Right. Thousand dollar prayer line, two thousand dollar prayer line, forty thousand dollar prayer line. <laughs> That's right. Blowing on you. Blowing on you. That's right. Changing the grace of God to lasciviousness. Mm -hmm. Deceitful workers. They are deceitful. Mm -hmm. They're just working deceit, That's maneuvering. Right. That's right. How they can get deeper and deeper into your wallets. That's right. Let me show you one form of prosperity deception. Mm -hmm. The apostles, mm -hmm. the church, sold their possessions right. and laid what they got as a result of their possessions at the feet of the apostles. That's right. Distribution was made out. Mm -hmm. They had all things common. Um. <laughs> Deceptive intelligence. Steps in. Right. And preachers will read that scripture in the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. When the church sold their possessions mm -hmm. and laid it at the apostles' feet. And then tell you it is a sin. Yeah. For the saints mm -hmm. to own property. Right. You must give all your property mm -hmm. to the church or mm -hmm. to the bishop. That's right. That's the season. What they say. If it's a sin for the follower mm -hmm. to own property, mm -hmm. then it's a sin for the leader right. to own the property. That's right. That's right. That's, right. That's deceptive, That's deceptive. That's intelligence. Right. Amen. That's maneuvering scripture mm -hmm. in the favor of self. That's right. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old troublemaker? Deceitful workers. For when they sold their possessions and laid at the apostles' feet, there was no commandment. Neither was there any among Listen. them. Listen! In Acts chapter 4 and verse 34. Neither was there any among them that lacked. For as many as were possessors of land. Many as were possessors. Notice, that don't mean, that lets you know right there. I, ho I hope you see this. Yeah. That lets you know right there, everybody didn't do it. No. As many. as many as many as many as were possessors, were possessors right. of, of land those that own land everybody didn't own no everybody own no land no as many as many as were possessors it didn't say all of them that owned the land did it either no it just said many of them many that's it See, it's the language of the book that folks overlook. That's right. It didn't say all of them that own land As did man. this. No. Many of them that had land did it. That's right. Listen. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. Sold them. And brought the prices and of the brought things the prices that of the thing that were sold. And laid them, down laid them at the apostles' feet. feet. And distribution, and distribution was, was laid unto every, every man. According as he had need. It was not a commandment. Not a commandment. No commandment. That if you don't do this, you'll go to hell. No. No. They done it on their own free will. And the multitude. They brought it to the apostles because they respect and honored the divine judgment. That's right. When it comes to distribution. That's right. They respect their judgment. That's right. Listen good. Now in Acts 4 and verse 32. What is it? And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart. And, and of one soul. And neither said any of them that all of the things which he possessed was his own. Yes. But they had all things common. They had all things 
common. common. What do you mean they didn't say these things with their own? Mm -hmm. They wanted to share with others. Right. So nobody would be lacking. That's it. That's it. Today the preachers make you think that this is a commandment. Right. But it's not. No. Well, what about the scripture, Pastor Jennings, where the rich man was told to sell all you have and give it to the poor? The poor. What about that? Mm -hmm. All right, yes, that was true. That was true because the man was bragging about how he kept the commandments from his youth. Right. And the Lord knew where the man's heart was. Mm -hmm. The man's heart was not in the commandments. <laughs> no, the man was just boasting. That's right. Yeah? That's right. And the Lord, the Lord, the Lord wanted to give him a good understanding. That's right. See, the book says where your treasure is, mm -hmm. there will your heart be also. So boasting and bragging don't do it. And a certain ruler asked. Listen, listen. In St. Luke chapter 18 and verse 18. My God, because I know that's where the bunny rap is going to hop. <laughs> That's right. I want to skin them in tandem before they get there. Amen. Listen. Luke 18 and verse 18. What is it? And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master. Good master. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? What shall I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me Why good? Why call me good? None is good save one that is God. What is it? Thou knowest the commandments. You know the commandment. Do not commit adultery. All right. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Don't kill. Do not steal. All right. Jesus itemized the commandments to him. Read on. Do not bear false witness unto thy father and, and thy mother. Yes. And he said, All these have I kept from my youth up. Oh. Praising himself. That's Jesus, right. you ain't telling me nothing. That's right. You ain't telling me nothing, Jesus. I've been doing that. That's right. Uh -huh. Now, when Jesus heard these when things. When Jesus heard these he things. He said unto him, yet lackest thou hey, one hey, thing. Hey, hey, fella. You lack something. Mm -hmm. I hear you're talking, That's but right. you're missing something. That's right. Lackest thou one thing. You're about thing. to get happy now, fella. That's right. But there's something you overlook. That's right. What is it? Sell all that thou hast. What? Sell all that thou hast. I might have said Jesus was talking to everybody. He was not. No. All he was that, talking to a rich man. All that thou hast. A rich man. That's right. Certain rules. There's some scripture that's pointed out to a certain particular people. That's it. A rich man. That's right. Because the book says, charge that, them that, that are rich. Are rich. And this world that they be not high minded, high minded and trust in uncertain riches. That's right. That don't, that don't, that don't apply to me. No. No, no. I don't apply to me. I'm not rich. No. Certain but rich. it's written, charge them that are rich mm -hmm. in this world. That's right. Be not high minded. Not high -minded. Nor trust in uncertain riches. That's right. That scripture's talking about a particular people. That's right. Like the scripture that's talking about poor. Mm -hmm. He says the poor you have with you always. always. Well, that excludes the rich. That's right. That's right. They ain't talking about the rich. That's right. I'm talking about the poor. That's it. All right. Come Yet on. Yet is thou one thing. What is it? Sell all that thou hast. Sell all you have. And distribute unto the poor. Give it to poor folk. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come follow me. Then what? And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful. Oh, why are you sorry? Go back. Dancing about the commandments. That's right. Why are you so sorry? Sorry. Very sorry. Keep up the commandment talk. That's right. My God, Jesus got him right where his heart was. That's it. What happened? He was very sorry. That go to show you how folk love money. Mm -hmm. Like you religious folk. Right. You get upset over the truth of God because we ain't preaching money. That's right. We're preaching God so you can escape hell. That's it. And because we preach God so you can escape hell, mm -hmm. you'd rather hear money. Money. What good is money if you're going to burn in hell? That's right. That's right. Give me God. Amen. You can have your money. Amen. That's right. Listen. And when he heard this, he was very sorry. When he heard, then he was very sorrow. For he was very rich. He was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorry. What happened? He said, how hardly. How hardly. Shall they that have riches. Shall they that have riches. Enter into the kingdom of God. Hardly. Hardly. So the television preachers brag. Yeah. Because they're millionaires. Right. How hardly. Mm. It is hard. That's right. Hard. For a rich man. That's right. To step into God's kingdom. It is easier for a camel. It is much easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye. To go eye. through a needle's eye. Hold it, man. That's right. That. Listen, some of us need glasses and a magnifying glass. Amen. Just to get the thread through. That's right. Why is it more easier for a camel, camel. 
Because a rich man, wealth is his God. That's right. He see no need to pray. That's right. He see no need to seek God for anything. Anything. That's right. He see no need to bow. Amen. He see no need to obey. Amen. God is George Washington. Yeah. God is Ben Franklin. That's right. God is Jefferson. That's right. That's true. To him, God is not spirit. God is green. Green. That's right. Money is good. Mm -hmm. Use correctly. Amen. Amen. Power is good. Use correctly. Education is good. Use correctly. That's right. Without God, mm. you don't have nothing. Have nothing. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand, viewer. Mm -hmm. This is why the truth of God is distinguished from what you have, oh, yes. what you've been watching. Oh yes. When we go off, we don't tell you send us money. No, no you don't. Do you need it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we ain't begging you for no money. No, no, no. You men feel prestigious because you have popular renown people in your congregation, popular authors, mm -hmm. movie stars, yeah. entertainers. Mm -hmm. And you have them in your congregation, you feel prominent. Prominent, that's right. Well, we have God. God. That's right. In our congregation. That's right. That's right. Amen. The book says, mm -hmm. and I turned to see the voice. I turned to see the voice that spake with me. That spake with me. And being turned, being turned, I saw seven, I golden, saw candlesticks. seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst, and in of the, the midst, seven candlesticks. glory to God. Amen. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one light, one light of man. I want to have God in the midst of us. Uh, that's it. That's it. All your wealth. But what is your connection with God? That's right. If being a millionaire mm. will make me sell my salvation, Amen. I'd rather die poor mm -hmm. and obey God. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is the only program you see on television pointing people to God. God. Amen. A false prophet is a recycled thing. That's right. That's right. Because he breeds mm -hmm. the germs that he inherit That's right. from false prophets that come before him. Before him. That's right. And he recycles mm -hmm. the same lie. He keeps it going. Keeps it going. He come along and just put it in new packages. That's it. And new generations come around who hear the lie for the first time right. and think it's deep revelation. Right. But yet the lie been preached long before that generation was born. That's right. That's right. So here you have all these men ordained from old. Mm -hmm. On godly men that's right go back to the book of jude back in jude 1 and verse 4 everybody all right Amen. listen for there are certain men crept in unawares what is it who are before of old ordained to this condemnation yes ungodly men ungodly men turning the grace of our god they turn the grace of god into less seriousness all this scripture that is here but men have turned it to a book of lust that's it they have took scriptures and try to work it in favor of the flesh mm -hmm. to condone That's right. sin. That's right. That's, right. That's right. To condone remarriage and divorce. Today they go to Moses' law or yesterday. That's right. That's right. Yet one greater than Moses is here. That's and true. Jesus is here. That's right. Mm. To condone taking the people's money. Mm. His word is plant seed. That's right. Viewer, before that false prophet you love go off the radio or television, you can hear him mm -hmm. if you want to be a part of this ministry. That's right. Plant a seed. That's right. The address is on the screen. Right. 
666. <laughs> 666 Hellbound Drive. That's right. Plant a seed. Plant a seed. Mm -hmm. And this is what you think going to get you to heaven. Yeah. That if I send this man $5,000, mm -hmm. if I send this man $10,000, mm -hmm. heaven you can't buy. No, no. You can buy a hoe, but you can't buy God. Thy money perish with thee. Listen. In the book of Acts, chapter 8, we'll begin at verse 18. There was a man named Simon the Sorcerer. That's right. And Simon mm -hmm. was a worker of wicked craft. Wicked craft, that's right. The apostles was down in Samaria. Mm -hmm. And Simon saw that through the laying on hands mm -hmm. of the apostles, the Holy Ghost was given. That's right. But he was so carnal minded. He offered them money. Listen. Acts chapter 8 and at verse 18. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, what? the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. Holy. Amen. So you turn on Benny Hill. That's right. That's right. Who you call Benny Hill. Benny Hill. That's right. Same spirit, same spirit. Go ahead, brother. You turn on Jake's. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You turn on these international liars. That's right. That's right. Who just excite you, mm -hmm. but give you no insight. No. You turn on Peter Popoff, who just prey on old people. That's right. That's right. With 40 year old bottles of toilet water. My Lord, my Lord. These religious suckers. That's right. They are players. That's right. That play upon the emotions of the ignorant. Mm -hmm. So here Simon mm -hmm. offered money. He offered them money. That's exactly what the preachers are doing today. That's right. So what you have, the different prayer lines that vary in price. That's right. How is it that a man can come before a congregation and tell them, the Lord said to me to tell you that it is time for you to buy me a new Rolls Royce. My Lord, my Lord. He said the Lord said it. The Lord said so. And the congregation believed it and he get it the next day. That's true. How can he be so heartless? That's right. To come before victims. Amen. And don't care. Don't care. Why you think you got these men on television, on radio, and on YouTube, and trying to convince you that you should give the preacher all your money? No. No, no. All what I have belongs to God. That's right. That's right. My money, my body, my soul, my mind. Amen. My spirit. Amen. That's right. Belongs to God. That's right. My Lord, my Lord. Are you listening? Amen. The ingredients of a false prophet. Mm -hmm. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Mm -hmm. Sir? He, he come mm -hmm. from his mother's womb. That's right. That's right. In the womb, he's a predestinated one. That's right. Before of old ordained. Before of old. Before of old ordained. He's already ordained. To this condemnation. God already picked out the one. Picked it out. Who will represent the unrighteous side. That's something. Because he got to keep the fulfillment of scriptures going. That's right. That's right. Mm. Then you have those that stumble that's right. into falsehood. That's right. They've been deceived along the way. Along the way. That's right. And was created to be a false prophet by a false teacher. That's right. That's right. False teachers among you. You see, a teacher is a craftsman. That's true. He shaped 
and make and mold people. That's right. He either shaped them righteously or unrighteously. unrighteously. That's right. So here you have mm -hmm. a good brother mm -hmm. since here. Yeah. Started out good. Mm -hmm. He learned a few scriptures. That's right. He get up in the church and testify loudly and bold. That's right. Oh, I thank God for waking me up this morning. Hmm. Start me on my way. <laughs> Jesus. That's right. Nobody can do me like Jesus. Amen. Then you got an old dumb bishop. That's right. That's right. Who don't know God. Right. Tell him the calling is upon him. On him. That's right. Don't even know nothing about him. That's right. Don't try him. Nothing. Nothing. Or oh, the calling is upon you. Mm -hmm. The dumb bishop pray upon his zeal. That's right. For you know it. Ordain him. Ordain. And he become what? An elder. An elder. And when he ordained him, mm -hmm. the germ I'm the from the preacher That's right. goes from the preacher That's right. to the candidate. That's right. He inherits mm -hmm. his spirit. Amen. And Satan enhances the spirit that he has. That's right. That's why you find a lot of bishops that got sons before they about to die and go to hell. Yeah. They leave the church to their family. Right. And a son is nothing but a carrier of the same lies. That's right. To keep his father legacy going on. That's right. A legacy of lies. Lies. Amen. The ingredients of a false prophet, he's a people pleaser. Right. He don't want to offend you. No. He don't want to hurt you. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to be angry with him. That's right. He don't want you to be upset with him. That's right. He's a smooth operator. That's right. Tell us why. Tell us why. That's right. That's right. He's a smooth talker. Mm -hmm. He has the tongue of a serpent. A serpent. Yes. That's right. The serpent's tongue is one that goes in his body, but at the end, it's separate. Separate. That's Split. Right. Mm -hmm. Showing the double standard of lie and truth. That's right. So he had tell you truth, mix it with the lie. Mm -hmm. And because you know the public is just as ignorant of a truth as he is of a lie, mm -hmm. they accept it. Amen. False prophet. The That's word prophet means messenger. messenger. That's right. When you are a false prophet, you have a message That's right. that God don't have nothing to do with. Mm -hmm. And you are a messenger not sent by God, but out on your own. That follow their own spirit. Listen. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 13 and at verse 3. Thus saith the Lord God. What? Woe unto the foolish prophets. Woe. Unto the fool prophet. Yes, that follow their own spirit. Amen. You see them on television closing their eyes. Oh, there's a view out there now that's watching me. Mm -hmm. That's watching me. What you gonna do? <laughs> that's right. He bled out a tongue when he get ready. You get ready. Think of a viewer. Mm -hmm. You go watch some international preacher. Mm -hmm. Congregation about five thousand. He closed his eyes and said, the Lord told me right. there's someone in here named Paul. Paul is a common name. That's right. Notice these men don't get names that are uncommon. No. They get common names. Someone in here named Paul. Mm. Someone named Johnny. Someone named Tommy. That's right. They don't tell you there's someone here named Aloysius. <laughs> no. They don't tell you there's someone here named Mustafa. That's right. They don't tell you there's someone here named Akba. Amen. No. Amen. Common name. Tom. John, Tom, James, Bill, That's Brown, 
from the Smiths. That's right. And you come up, perhaps sincere, crying. Here come brother and sister Smith. Coming up with your social security check. That's right. Giving it to the hustler. Amen. And you think that God gave this man your name. Mm -hmm. Catch on to the trick. That's right. Of the false prophet. That's why 